Hi everyone, it's repair time again today, but uh, this time it's not an eBay purchase that I'll be repairing, it's uh, one of my uh, bench meters uh, in the workshop here, the Fluke 8842A. Let's take a look. Okay, the Fluke 8842A. It's a five and a half digit high performance digital multimeter. Um, top of the line in its day. This one's uh, a few years old now. I haven't had it that long uh, and it works near as damn perfect. The only issue I do have is with the display. Let's turn it on and have a look. It's a VFD display. It's a vacuum fluorescent uh, tube basically inside of it. And what they do tend to do, they age. You know, unlike LCDs, these things age and the digits, you know, can get dim uh, over a period of time. This one isn't too bad, but uh, you know, I would like to see if I could improve it. So what I have done is I've uh, managed to get my hands on some uh, a replacement VFD, uh, new old stock. Okay, uh, here's the replacement uh, VFD for the Fluke. Brand new. Managed to find somebody on eBay that was selling new old stock. So hopefully it should just be a fairly easy job to replace the worn out one in my Fluke. Okay, here's the uh, Fluke on the workbench. Let's get it open and see what we've got. Here's a look inside the fluke with the cover off. A thing of beauty. And uh, something's quite unusual. It's got a, a red silk screen on a green solder mask. A bit different, but there we go. And then you can see just in there the display board itself. Whilst we're in here, I thought I'd uh, note my particular uh, Fluke's got uh, both the Dash 05 and the Dash 09 options. That's the, well it's called the AC converter board, it's the true RMS uh, AC board and it's also got the IE488 um, option for the port on the back.
Okay, I've managed to get into the fluke uh, as much as I think I need be uh, without taking it completely apart. Um, as you can see here, there's the, the, the VFD uh, which will come out from the front and in the back here, if I just pull down these cables here, you'll see two rows uh, of solder joints. That's the pins on the actual uh, VFD itself. Uh, here's the new one. Get the orientation right. So this is what you're looking like there. So I think I can desolder those pins there um, and it should allow the display to come out from the front and I can offer up the new one in exactly the same way. Okay, that's the uh, old display out. Just have to tidy up the pads, uh, make sure the holes are clear, and I can uh, put in the new else, uh, the new VFD. Okay, I've uh, cleared out the through-hole plating, I think, as best I can, and I'm ready to offer up the new VFD. Um, the original one had some sticky pads in the back just to raise it off the PCB a little bit so I've managed to retain them from the old one so let's try and uh, see if it'll fit in I'm trying not to bend the pins while I'm at it Pins down a little bit, I think. Best way if you want to bend a whole series of pins, you know, along an IC or a display like this, is not to bend them individually, but um, just to bend them together. That way, you get them all in a straight line. There's nothing worse than trying to put an IC or something like this in a socket when all the pins are misaligned that should be enough I think I'll try that also taking care not to uh, damage the VFD itself they're pretty fragile when they're uh, sitting around on their own
kind of working a little bit blind here. And that's the uh, VFD in place. Went in fairly easily. Secret is to clean the holes out as best as you can. Let's have a look at the inside. There you can see the rows of pins, and they're all through nicely. None of them bent back. It's another common problem. They're all sitting at the same height, so I know they're all through by the same amount. So let's do one last check, because once I solder it, that's about it. Of course, with this VFD, there's, there's no chance of putting it in upside down. But uh, one thing you definitely got to watch when you're soldering dual and line ICs, that sort of thing. Okay, it's sitting nice and flat against the PCB, the, the sticky pad, so let's solder it up. Okay, that's the VFD all soldered up. Quick check, everything's okay. Adjustment here. That's it. Looking good. Okay, the next thing to do is to put it back together at least far enough that I can power it up and give it a check. Okay, here we go for the power up. Everything's connected up. Dis display headers are connected. Uh, put back in the true RMS board just so that's exactly as it was. Okay, power on. And let's see what happens. Self test fine. Beautiful. All the digits now are nice and even. There's no dimness at all on any of them. A nice bright display. Okay, here's the fluke uh, back assembled again and up on the shelf. And uh, hopefully you can see a difference in the uh, VFD on camera. I certainly can. It's, uh, it's uh, very, very usable now.
Job done.